All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Heavenly Delusion episode 10. We're finally in the double digits of the show now, and I believe it has 13 episodes. So we're nearing the end of the first season, or the first core, or however it's going to be. I, I'm never probably sure if we even have a season two announced for this yet. But yeah, uh, last episode was very good. We learned more about the nursery. We learned uh, Kiriko and Maru learned more about the bird logo, where it comes from, where they're going next, it would seem. Um, the timeline is a little bit confusing. I think it's kind of starting to reveal itself on what it possibly could be. I'm still obviously not sure yet, but I'm uh, enjoying the ride. And then, um, yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo's pregnant. Who would have thought kids that weren't taught about this shit? Somehow figured it out anyway, probably evolution. Um, and then, uh, yeah, they, they did it the oopsie. And now she's pregnant. Yikes. So yeah, very much looking forward to this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Is this dude giving them a lift? I thought he fucking got out of there. Might have shut up, bro. <laughs> I was going to say, you're annoying me. Go to sleep. Are they paying this dude? Surely fuel can't be easy to come by. So, what, it was actually true, but the tattoo isn't? It wasn't before, what the hell? The style of the animation this episode, it might just be a one-off thing, but it feels like Studio Trigger. It's giving me those vibes, like Kill the Kill or Gurren Lagan. <laughs> Why would bro steal it? You're in his car. Yeah, I don't know what it is. The style of the anime seems a bit different in this episode, but I like it. Seems more goofy than usual. <laughs> I'm walking away like that. Did you just grab her tits? Punch this. Yeah, Maru. Kick his ass. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why? Really? Really? Okay. What a weird town. Yeah, the animation style is definitely goofier this episode, but I'm loving it. It's funny as shit. Bro. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you kind of hot, not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fucking idiots. I love them. Okay, so this memory then. It must actually be legit, this place. He's not lying. Yeah, I hope she's good too. That's not good. This place must have been fucked up by someone. There's definitely not still a, a baby here. Oh god, I wonder if they left them in their cages. Ooh, why did that water just flicker? Oh shit, some spooky's happening. What is this? Bitch, what the fuck is that? Oh, what the hell is this? Bro, did this guy lead lure us to this place on purpose? Bro, this is bad. Get out of the room. Oh, it's a spider. Come on. Fire it. Come on. Look at the animation here right here. This definitely feels like it's done by a, a different studio all of a sudden. Wait, what, did, what is she doing? Why did she put war in her mouth? It's a creepy ass man here. I'm guessing this bubble thing's invisible. But it's just for the audience. Interesting. Bro, Kiriko's smart. Shoot this fucking thing. Come on, Kiriko. Oh my 
Yeah! Shot your whole ass off. Or eye, I don't know. Ass eye. So you didn't shoot off the core. There ain't shit here. May as well leave this man here behind. Well, I hope that helps. Yeah, it's not like there were any corpses that they saw. No skeletons or anything. I suppose maybe the money is would eat them whole. If this episode wasn't partly animated by Studio Trigger, I swear, that this definitely gives off that style. Oh, are these the um Oh, the the, the other pig dudes. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Seemed like a good bunch of guys. Oh, wow. Oh. This must be nice. <laughs> yeah. Damn, where'd you get this nice um, ass me from? That's nice. He's got a place to be now and he's got his son. Another bath scene, yeah. <laughs> Does he maybe miss the, the women? Like the, the two women, maybe? This episode's so goofy, I love it. What the hell was that? Oh, please don't be any... Oh, no, it is the fucking spider. Please, save them! Yeah, they know what it is straight away. Let's go. Oh, don't let this dude die. Come on. Oh, she's not running towards it, is she? Why is the cold following her like this? What? Yeah, why is this on her? Bro, what the hell? It doesn't look like the baby's freezing. It looks like it's just her. Oh, fucking fingers. Is it the baby? Brother, what? What? Can it transform into that big spider thing or, or what? He doesn't even know he's doing it, maybe? Creepy ass kid. Okay, so it's just an ability he can't control. What What is with the giant spider then? He still got beef because he lost out on that position, I wonder. What is it? Oh, he's got a place to be now. He don't need the car anymore. Can either of you drive? Actually, one of you can drive a go-kart. I guess that's close enough. So are these guys going to be able to, like, control this kid? When he goes all icy mode? See you. Bye-bye. Great. <laughs> of course. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I love the art in this episode. It's so goofy. <laughs> you tell her. Anybody we recognize, maybe? No? Doesn't look like it. That bitch looks creepy. That bitch looks creepy. You know what? A few of them look creepy. Why is this kid covered in blood? What the fuck? What? Bro, what did you do? I would get that blood off your face if there are other people still here. Damn. Oh, I thought bro was finally going to have a place to live. 
that's creepy. This is kind of a creepy episode. Right, so that was Heavenly Delusion episode 10. Pretty damn creepy episode there. Juichi managed to find his son. He managed to find the other people he was in prison with, which was nice. And then we find out son is part Todoroki. They can deal with that. That's no problem, I suppose. Don't know what that spider thing was, whether that was... I really don't know what that was, to be honest. Because, like, the frozen thing was there with the spider. The kid was nowhere close. Maybe it was. No, it wasn't. So I don't know what that was about. Fuck, I don't know. Um, maybe the frozen thing was just wandering around and the spider just so happened to be as well. I have no idea. But it was a bit, a bit more than a coincidence, to be honest, there. Um, and there, you then... Juchi killed someone else because he apparently killed the women that he was with, or Jugo's mother in this case, um, probably the other one as well. So yeah, got some revenge there, whether that was just or not. But not not for us to say, I guess. But yeah, really good episode, creepy. And then on the other side of the spectrum, in uh, the Tokyo side of the story, we got some new creepy kids um, joining the nursery school. So that's interesting as well. Overall, a very good episode. Definitely creepy. The vibes as well. The animation. This, the uh, the art. Oh, so different. Like, I'd like to know if it was still Production IG that animated this episode or whether they did get some freelancers from another studio or something like that. I really liked it. Uh, if, if it really fit with the goofy uh, atmosphere in, in some places, as well as the creepy atmosphere in some places as well. Like when Juichi was driving away there and it went from the black and white to the red. It was really cool. I liked it. Overall, very good episode. Definitely excited for the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.